Hey everyone, this is Michael with the general reading intended for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2020. I do apologize that these videos are coming out so, so late. I actually intended to have them done days ago, and I even recorded six videos last night, and they all, um, all but two of them ended up not having any audio, so I have to re-record all of these. So I do apologize. I'm trusting they're coming in the divine timing and they're reaching the people who need to hear them, even if it's not as many people this month. Honestly, with everything going on with the pandemic and quarantine, I've just been shuffling around in my own life, taking care of the people who need it. Um, and, you know, I think even just with this channel, it's like things are not gonna be fully operational. And that's okay. I'm not going to be operating at 100%. I can't expect myself to be working at full capacity. And that's also a message for all of you. Because I feel like anything that happens to me and comes up in my own life, it's also something that's relevant to my audience. So if you're finding yourself really trying to push through something and it just doesn't work, or things are just not going as quickly as you'd like them to, please, please, please be gentle on yourself. This is not a time where we're going to be able to just keep going business as usual. And if you're an essential worker, especially, you do need to be taking care of yourself um, because we're obviously just in some crazy times and we need to do what we can to just kind of get through each day and still function. Um, so I, I hope someone out there is hearing the message from me, okay? Don't don't learn from my mistakes. It's not going to pay out if you just try and persevere and, and don't give yourself a chance to catch your breath. Which is actually a little ironic because I did also announce that I'm currently taking some time off from personal readings and Reiki sessions. My guides were telling me that I was going to need about two weeks to recuperate from a download that I started receiving. And I'm just going to trust that that's going to only serve my audience and my clients. Uh, I will be back in the swing of things around April 22nd. I will be offering all of my services at a 20% discount. So there will still be that sale. You don't have to worry. You didn't miss it. And I do also want to give a shout out to a friend really quickly before we begin because I have a friend, Day Schildkret with Morning Altars, who is doing these virtual workshops uh, throughout quarantine, throughout lockdown. And he has this really interesting art style where he uses forged materials to create impermanent earth altars or pieces. And it's all about creating and connecting to nature and transmuting grief and finding beauty in loss and transition. And that is so, so needed for the times we are in right now. I'm actually going to be attending his workshop on Sunday, April 12th, and you can still, if you're watching this, you can still um, book or, or join our workshop. You can join me. We'll make some art together virtually. Um, and if you do miss the workshop or you're just not able to do it this time, still follow him on social media. He's been offering workshops for a while. Uh, I believe this is the third one he's done. And it's just, it's really nice to be able to support artists and creatives and craftspeople because they are very hard hit by everything that's going on. And obviously a lot of people are, I'm not asking you, I'm not like demanding anyone do this or anything, but if you find yourself, you know, still working or still having an income and you're really struggling to feel connected to the world around you, I highly, highly recommend that you join us in this workshop or at least follow Day's work. I have all of his links down below. Um, anyway, I, I am curious to see what comes up for you, Capricorn. I do just want to thank all of you who have supported this channel with your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes, because it's really that support that allows this channel to keep growing and allows me to keep putting these messages out there for everyone and doing this incredible work. And I'm just going to tell you that this time period, yes, it's been hard, I'm not going to lie, but it's also been a real gift to be of service in this way. So thank you all so much who have supported me and who have, you know, just reached out to me and, and booked readings. I, I really, really do appreciate it. Even if I, I'm kind of needing to decompress, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. Um, I do have all of my links down below. I have my own social media where I'm posting messages of the day on Instagram, and I'm also sharing those on Facebook, so you can choose from either of those. Um, and that's that's pretty much... I think that's pretty much everything. Again, my services won't be available until April 22nd, but there will be that sale. 
Uh, so you can get a reading with me then or a Reiki session. So what are the messages for Capricorn? Show us clearly. Messages for Capricorn for April. And this could even be for May. You know, this it could even be whenever you're watching this. We're actually going to be doing a reading kind of looking at ourselves. I, I call this the Black Mirror. I actually started doing these last month. And they're a really good way to kind of reflect and become aware of our own patterns. And because a lot of us are experiencing these disruptions or delays in our daily life, it's a really good time to meditate and reflect. I think that's it. Let's see what we have. Interesting. So overall energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And this is kind of your energy coming into this month, coming into this reading. And this actually came out in the reverse. I don't necessarily read reversals with this spread, but actually all of your cards have come out in reverse Capricorn, so it is kind of this introspective time that I was just talking about. And a lot of you watching this, I get the sense you had this plan for the way that 2020 was going to go. Or even the next few months. And you're seeing a lot of things falling through. There's a lot of uncertainty right now. And it's almost this energy of like, you planted the seeds, you set, the, you set these things in motion, only to have them halt. And I have as a reflection this two of swords, what you're kind of seeing in the mirror, what you're, you're becoming aware of right now. And this is delay. This is uncertainty. This is the unknown. There might not be a lot of clarity right now. I actually don't think, and this is going to be hard for a lot of you, I actually don't think this is the right time to make that decision. And use your own intuition and discernment on this. This is not a reading that's going to be for everybody. So if it doesn't resonate, trust that. But to expect yourself to have a long-term plan right now is a little crazy. Because it's going to depend on where you are in the world. It's going to depend on a lot of things. The reactions that people are going to be having to the crisis that we're in, the pandemic. And the information that we're getting is changing every day. And the policies that are being put in place are changing every day. And it's like, you really want to work on something here? And I'm getting as your blind spot, the Queen of Swords... This is interesting. I'm almost feeling this as... It's like you're trying so hard to figure out what's logical. What's the next step? What's the plan here? What am I supposed to do? And... It's almost like there is no plan. And I think that's going to freak a lot of you out. So I'm sorry if it does. But it's like... Right now, we have to be responsive to what is happening. It, it's very hard to just make this long-term plan right now. And to invest in that. For this year, it's really going to be a lot about responding to need. And responding to the situations that we're in. And... I don't necessarily that think that's the same thing as taking one day at a time, either, to be honest with you. I, I think we aren't in a situation right now where we can really do that without getting a little blindsided. I think there is actually something to being prepared, mentally and emotionally.
and kind of opening yourself up to the possibility that things are going to be up in the air right now. And the message here is that's okay. I know it's scary. I've been there. <laughs> it, it's scary. I, I've had no money in the bank. I've lived out of my car. I lived in huts. I lived in a greenhouse for a while. I, I've been in a lot of interesting situations that were very unstable and there was a lot of uncertainty and I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to pay for food type of situation and it's scary. I get it. But your sense of security doesn't have to come from external conditions. It doesn't have to be something that looks a specific way, okay? Capricorn? You are a very strong sign. And I know I'm, an, I'm a Virgo. We're both Earth signs. I, I get you. You know, you like to have a stability to things. You like to have tangible results. Or something to show for your efforts. But you're also the mountain goat. And whenever there's this obstacle, this hard situation that tries to push you down, that's actually when you shine your brightest. Capricorn is so strong and resilient in that way. And I want you to kind of think of these, these times of uncertainty as, as an initiation, a test. You're not necessarily going to know. And that knowing, that, or rather that not knowing, doesn't mean that you have to live in panic and fear. Embrace your fear. Allow it to be there. Don't try and resist it. Don't try and get rid of it so fast where you're actually creating the things you're afraid of. For instance, we're looking at the situation with toilet paper. That's something I've been using a lot in these readings. You've had people who hoarded toilet paper because they were afraid of a shortage of toilet paper and that actually created the very situation they were trying to avoid. So I'm not telling you to embrace your fear in the sense of completely lose your shit and lose your mind. I'm saying hold that part of you like a small child going through this uncertain time and not just trying to get rid of it as quickly as possible by putting a band-aid on it. Because the truth is, it's going to be uncertain for all of us. And you're actually carrying a lot of burden and a lot of responsibility. And it's in, in trying to know and trying to anticipate, you're actually slowing yourself down and holding your energy down with this Ten of Wands. And the way to kind of break free of this pattern is to just let go. And that's never an easy thing to say. It's so easy for me to be like, well, just let go, you know, like... Well, if it were only so easy, Michael, um, but, you know, letting go doesn't mean that something doesn't bother you anymore. And again, I'm kind of talking about conditions. Letting go is not conditional on something leaving. Letting go of fear does not mean that you don't experience fear. It means you let go of trying to control it and just allowing it to be there and doing what you need to do with it there. And a lot of the time when you stop resisting it, it actually helps you feel a lot better. And of course, it is important to do things that are good for your mental health, even if it's the littlest things. And really look at our ancestors who have gone through plagues, who have gone through wars, who have gone through all of these hardships. Even in these times of crisis, there are these moments of happiness sprinkled in there. There are these moments of solace and sweetness. And I feel like a lot of us on the spiritual path, we've been learning this skill in one way or another, this gratitude. Even if it's for something that seems very small or insignificant, we are all going to be learning how to appreciate the little things. The simple things. And it may not be the long-term grand scale that you're used to right now. I'm not saying that's never going to happen for you. In fact, I feel like it will. It's just being delayed. 
Whatever your master plan is here, Capricorn, it's just delayed. But you're almost going to this worst case scenario and, and trying so hard to strategize. You, you can't have the strategy yet. We're just not there yet. And it's okay to let that go and to just do what you need to do right now. And those are all the messages I have for you, Capricorn. I, I do hope that this was helpful. I hope this gave you some things to think about. If you're kind of stressed out or anxious, I'd love to hear what is going on for you, what you're letting go of, which doesn't mean you're not feeling. Comment down below. I have all of my links in the description box down below. I'd love to see you all on my Instagram and Facebook where I'm putting out more content that's actually been very, very rewarding for me, and I hope it's beneficial to all of you as well. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.